Trayvon Martin's family says it's angry. They've not seen the documents, including their son's autopsy report, recently leaked to the media in the case. NBC News was able to review Trayvon Martin's autopsy report and George Zimmerman's medical report. Both give specific details about injuries the two received the night of the shooting. NBC national investigative correspondent Michael Isikoff joins me live now from Sanford, Florida. Uh, Michael, I'll let you take it away. You know that there are perhaps more documents could be released here soon, but the Trayvon Martin's family and the attorneys take issue with how this is going down. Right. I mean, this is, after all, the autopsy report on their son's death. It's a document they haven't seen, but it is an important piece of evidence in the case. Um, yesterday, I had an opportunity to review the autopsy report, and here's what it said. Um, uh, Trayvon Martin was killed by a gunshot wound to the chest at intermediate range, 17 inches below the head. That's where the wound was. The bullet went through lungs, creating perforations, and there was a small abrasion on his ring finger, just uh, slightly below the knuckle of the left hand, uh, left ring finger uh, on his hand. And that may be uh, the most important piece of this because it does, it can be suggested and will be argued that that's consistent with the injuries that were in that medical report on George Zimmerman, which showed that he had uh, prepared by a family doctor the day after the incident, which showed he had a likely broken nose, swollen lips, black eyes, and lacerations on the back of the head, all of which is consistent with the idea that there was a struggle that turned violent between the um, uh, between these two men. Now, that is clearly going to be argued by George Zimmerman's lawyer uh, as evidence that George Zimmerman, uh, when he he shot Trayvon Martin, was acting in self-defense, uh, that he had reason to feel he was threatened because he was in this violent struggle with Trayvon Martin. But it doesn't answer the crucial question, what started the confrontation? How did it begin? Uh, how did it escalate? And that's central to the, um, uh, to the state's case and central to resolving what actually happened that night. All right, Michael Isakoff in Sanford, Florida. I know you're going to keep an eye on all of it and report what's happening down there. Thank you so much, Michael.